Okay, so just to confirm that my Shield TV Pro is running Shield version 9.0.1 and we can see the exact version there. Let's now press the home key. And here we have an application called HeroGo TV, which is designed for cell phones and tablets. So if I now click on that and click on open, we can see that it opens up in portrait mode. Now on the previous versions of Shield TV or really any of these other Android TV devices, if I wanted to fix this issue, I would then open up set orientation. Let me do that now. Just so you can see in real time what the issue is. Here is set orientation. Let's click on that. And we can see it is set to landscape. So any application that tries to open up in portrait mode, set orientation would flip that, put it back into landscape. So it then formats properly for your TVs or for your screen. So we can see I've now set mine to landscape. Click on OK. Let's just close down the app again to make sure it's not running in the background. And now when I open up the application again, click on open. We can see unfortunately set orientation is not doing its job since my device is now upgraded to Android 11. So what's the fix? Well, fortunately the fix is very, very easy. It just requires a single ADB command that we can run directly on the Nvidia Shield and that should then fix this issue. So let me now terminate this application, double press the home key, close that down. Let's go back to home and let's now open up Downloader. And we can now type in this short code, which will take you straight to a page which has the two files we need for this fix. And that code is just 948.290. Let's type that in. And this will take you to my website where I've got the step-by-step -step instructions. Here we are, so here we can see uh, what the issue is. We can see the steps here on how to enable the developer options. And underneath all of that, we have the software needed. So you have the remote ADB shell, and this is the application used to make an ADB connection to your shield. And this will be entering that command and set orientation you may already have on your device, but this is the application that allows you to format those applications into landscape or portrait. So let's click on that, scroll down and click on this green download button. Download that, install both applications onto your device. Once you've installed them, let's now press the home key. Now, before we open up Remote ADB Shell, we need to enable Remote ADB Debugging on our device. Now, the way we do that is if we go over to Settings, click on that, go down to where it says Device Preferences. Let's click there. Let's click on About. Keep scrolling down, and where it says build you want to click on this or press the select button on this seven times and this will basically unlock some hidden developer options so let me do that now we can see on my device i've already done it but if you do that seven times on your device it will then tell you that you're now a developer so when you then press the back button scroll down and you'll now see you have this hidden menu called developer options and just as a word of warning, if you're not sure about what you're doing, do not make any changes in here as they could have some serious catastrophic effect to your device. But I'm gonna click on that, keep scrolling down, and we can see where it says network debugging. By default, it'll be off. I'm gonna turn mine on. Once you've confirmed that that's set to on, let's now press the home key, and let's now open up remote ADB shell for the first time. Let's open that up. We can click on OK. Now it's asking for the IP address or the host name of what you want to connect to. As we're doing this directly on the shield itself, we can type in the local host IP address, which is always 127.0.0.1. But if you do want to do this from another device, like maybe your Android phone or from another computer, you have to enter in the actual IP address of your NVIDIA Shield. So I'm gonna leave mine as that. Click on Next. Leave the default port as 5555. Go to Next. Let's now click on Connect. Now you will see this prompt the very first time you do this, so I'm gonna click on Always Allow, and click on Allow again. And that's it guys, so we've now made an ADB connection to our Shield from our Shield. And we now need to enter in just one command to fix this set orientation issue. And that command is just WM. And this will be listed in the video description and also my website. And we now want to type in set fix to user with dashes. 
Let me do that now. So, okay, so set fix to user rotation. And after that, we're basically going to turn this feature off because this is what's conflicting with set orientation. So let's go to the end, do a space. Let's now type in disabled. So disabled. Here we are, I can click on that. That's typed in. Click on the tick here. That command goes in, we don't get any error messages. That means it's now accepted that command. So what I need to do now is press the home key without making any changes, without going back to set orientation. Let me now try that previous application, which wasn't working before, and we know it is designed for cell phones. And when I now open that up, click on that, click on open, we can see straight away that's now formatted properly in landscape. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you have been looking for a fix to this issue since the latest version of the NVIDIA Shield experience broke this functionality. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips and tricks, more tutorials for the NVIDIA Shield, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.